Well, it's turning out to be a pretty cold winter, 2017, 2018. But that's not stopping Jim from Jim's Holius Acolius from taking out his toys from their winter hibernation uh, and letting them warm up a little bit. So I got all my seed trays for my uh, 2018 coleus crop in the greenhouse indoors. So I'm taking a break today. And I decided to take these uh, my two toys out from the, from the garage and warm them up a little bit. Actually, I put some fuel stabilizer in them. And here's my 2006 Yamaha Morphous scooter. It's a lot of fun. And this is my baby. It's my 1987 Corvette. I've owned her about 15 years. And I, uh, I restored her to like new over that time. And she's won uh, dozens of trophies. She's a real beautiful car. It's a Corvette I've always wanted. And uh, again, I bought her 15 years ago. And I restored her like new so I just put some fuel stabilizer in her so I'm letting it run into the fuel system I had her on of course I keep her covered up and through the winter I have a, a pretty good quality this is a Grios computerized battery tender and it keeps the battery healthy, keeps the car battery charged, and it keeps the battery from breaking down. So she started right up. So, so again, I'm just running some winter fuel stabilizer through her, and then I'll put her back to bed. <clears throat> and it's a little, little trick I heard. Uh, I haven't read about it. I heard it somewhere a few times that a good trick from uh, I haven't. I have a detached garage it's not heated or anything so I have some uh, some mice and of course you can't keep the cat out so uh, from what I heard is one of the best things to do to keep mice from going inside and destroying the inside of your car is load it up with dryer sheets so that's what I did I bought a two couple box of dryer sheets and I tossed them all over the place all in the little areas that mice would generally try to go into and they could do some real damage if you leave a car in a garage unattended for months on end uh, you know I try to keep what she is covered but still if a mouse gets in here and they start tearing up chewing up the carpet for nesting you do a lot of damage and the same thing with the engine inside there's little areas of the engine especially now I'm warming her up after I shut her off, I'm going to let her cool down completely before I put her away. Because if you put her back in the garage after warming her up in the winter, the mice are going to just come totally get attracted to that. And uh, so you're going to be looking. So I'm going to leave her out for a good few hours, make sure she's ice cold before I put her back up in the storage, reconnect the battery tender, and cover her up. But again, I just wanted to run some fuel stabilizer through for, for the winter. Get it into the fuel system, into the lines. It's good for uh, winter storage. I don't worry about the tires. I, put, I have nitrogen. And once you, uh, once you have your tires filled with nitrogen, you're pretty much guaranteed you don't have to worry about ever putting tire uh, air. Checking, I, mean, I check the air occasionally, but still. It's so stable. You don't get any, you don't lose any any air so and here's my uh, again my 2016 2006 Yamaha Morphous I love my toys and again I just picked I picked this up in September from down South Carolina had it shipped up and she's a twin it's a black with the blue pinstripe and it's the same pinstripe it really sets off well with the black. And this is a really sharp scooter. I'm gonna put her in shows occasionally also. And uh, 
for those of you who have uh, followed Jim's Holy as a Coleus, my other main toy is my Cadillac. And it's funny because the scooter, excuse the snow brush, scooter looks sort of like the Cadillac. And uh, yes, my, black, my black Cadillac has the same laser blue pinstripe. So I'm a, I'm a black with laser blue pinstripe fan freak. So let's start. Let's start the scooter up for a minute. Oh, that's right. The kickstand is down. Can't start it with the kickstand down. That center stand it has a center stand. It'll start with that, but with the side stand, it won't start. So I did put a little bit of fuel stabilizer in the, in the scooter. So I'm going to let that run too in the, for a minute or two. There she is, my baby. Again, I've had her about 15 years. And uh, I did a lot of work on her over the years. Restored the whole interior, everything but the carpeting. Everything else is brand new. Stereo system, everything. I had the wheels sent out to California about 10 years ago. I had them chromed. They did a spectacular job. Uh, paints in nice shape. Has its, uh, its little marks here and there for a car that's 30 years old. This is the second paint job. The original owner painted it and he did a good job. He spent good money on it. I had the windows tinted. Put a new exhaust on it, new tires, a second set of tires since I've owned it. But she runs really well. And she's a great, great show car, a lot of fun to drive. I'll never sell her, never. I'll hand her off to my son. All right, thanks for following. And uh, stay tuned to Jim's Holiest Coleus. Those of you who follow the, my Coleus channel know I just planted two trays of crops and I'll post another video in about 10, 12 days when they, uh, they start to, um, to sprout. We'll uh, follow up some videos after as, they, as the Coleus progress. And also I'll uh, follow up some, some videos of my Corvette. And my new 2006, she's new. She was in storage for 10 years. Very unusual, very few of these on the road. 2006 Yamaha Morphous. All right, everybody, happy new year. Happy 2018 from Jim, from Jim's Holiest of Coleus.